Hey guys, it's Ghost1386 here, and I am back with Kerbal Space Program. Since my last episode, point nine has come out. Uh, it added a few parts for uh, space planes and other things, so I'm going to check that out. No, we are not doing career mode. I am actually going to show a, a design I created. Uh, a long time ago and I actually uploaded it to curse if you want to check it out it's probably at the last page I in fact I think it's at the last page so yeah let me load it oh yeah as you can see I have a few mods OPT orbital thing I don't know what it stands for I forgot but it stands for something and I used it on my space shuttle and I also use MechJub. I think those are the only two mods I have installed. Um, no, I have one more mod. I have the one of the mods has this cockpit in it, and you can build different designs of stuff, and it adds all kinds of cool stuff, like like science. Okay. Well, anyways, this is my space shuttle I made. It was built to go into space. Uh, it has RCS, as you can see. Uh one cockpit rocket fuel fuselages and it has a cargo bay and it can carry quite a bit and just to prove to you it works I'm going to launch it uh, it cannot get into space it does not have enough fuel for that and that's why I've added a launcher to it in the VAB which I will show you later but uh, that it it cannot get into space it's a work in progress and i just look i just update uploaded this part into space in case any of you want to dare to challenge it to get into space without any cheats i do have one mod it's called uh hyper edit that's another mod i forgot to tell you about and the wheels on this are actually the uh the only the only mod that is on it except for Metjob. and the one I uploaded on the uh, curse site is actually uh, the one <sighs> that has no Metjob but just the wheels so this it is a good flyer it can fly perfectly I engineered it that way and it actually took a lot of retries and stuff uh, anyways, I'm going to show you the design of the one that I'm trying to get into space now. Hmm. And, I off and I'm also going to cover some other things, point nine added. Uh, here it is. This one, I added a huge fuel tank. Here's the only problem with it. Whenever the fuel tank detaches, it usually gets a little wobbly once these start to run out of fuel. But once it starts to run out of fuel, once these are completely detached, this thing goes flying and flipping. And I think that's because this one is not facing, like, inward or anything. And so, I think that's the reason it's not working correctly. But I'm going to launch it and show you this what it's doing it's a, it's already hard to control anyways so it's it's not really doing anything so it's already wobbling disconnection and it's barely moving and then on top of that it's just not moving at all. I mean, it is, but it's not moving very much. That's because it has to carry all this fuel. Yes, I did empty this because it just simply had too, added too much weight to it. And so this just goes slowly upwards. Slowly. Slowly. Oh, and the cockpit doesn't have anything in it. It's just completely dark. And this is the, it's starting to get, it's just a hard to control. And this is when it, and this is when chaos happens. 
it starts these things are running out of fuel and it starts to like topple and get uncontrollable and it's getting difficult it's already kind of tilting to the left here or east I mean west westward yeah and then once it starts to really lose fuel it's just gonna and see this is what happens it's going pretty good I mean this is probably one of the better launches oh no and see this is what I'm talking about right here it they're losing fuel losing weight and it's falling back disconnect and look this is and then it starts to go the opposite way now the thing I I think the problem with this is is because this is not facing like an inward direction so I'm gonna try and land it let's go do 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 we're gonna land this thing if it's possible oh no oh we lost a giant portion of our wing let's go oh there goes another portion of our wing run oh man we're not gonna be able to land anymore let's go go to Mexico to Mexico oh yeah that's another problem once you fast forward while it's actually going either way e even if this failure of a launch it's just gonna come off and the whole chip is gonna fall apart and it, that's another problem so yeah that's one thing and I'm actually going to show you some of the things that uh, point nine also added so see you after I done pause it hello I'm back and in case you're living in some kind of cave or whatever this is what point nine also added it added like you have to upgrade your areas and you actually can't do certain things unless uh, unless they do so stuff uh, you have to upgrade these buildings in order to do special things and all that and there's also like you have to upgrade this and it has certain number of parts and it costs money and I've learned that this game mode is very difficult uh so yeah that's something I've learned it's uh, it actually took me a few tries to get it right and that's that's a problem and see here it tells you if your ship is over the limit and then see this it can't my mass cannot be over 18 tons it cannot have over 30 parts it cannot be a height over 20 meters it cannot be a width of over 15 meters and it cannot be a length of over 15 meters which that l really limits how big your spaceship is going to be so you can't build like unlimited things like like this And see, this is already 30 tons, and it's already too tall to fit on the launch pad, and that's a problem. So, yeah, that's something else it does. It also goes the same way with the space plane hanger, and this has a limit of only, you cannot, you in the administrative building, it has a limit of a max commitment and how many strategies you can have. See, I prefer the uh, the fundraising campaign strategy, but that's up to you. You can only have one strategy. In this building, in the beginning, no EVAs. And in this building, in the beginning, you actually have a research science limit of 100, which basically that means you cannot research technologies over 100 science cost. And so you need to upgrade to that, to 500 or something. But you actually need to upgrade this astronaut complex before that, so they can do EVAs to get, uh, to get, uh, surface samples. And then this one, your orbit, you can just, 
orbits and then you can add like if you actually don't upgrade this it cannot tell if you're orbiting what you're orbiting unless it's Kerbin the moon it cannot tell you're orbiting Ker the moon or anything like that that's it makes the game difficult so I'm also gonna I guess I guess that's it in the video guys like like this video subscribe to me ghost1086 on the ghosts channel also I also want to mention I I I appeared in echo echo Mike's video on Minecraft go check out echo Mike because he's pretty cool he hasn't uploaded a video in a while and I'm still not sure if he's uploaded the video me and him have uploaded so let that be it and thank you for watching hit the subscribe button like and do whatever else to help my channel and echo likes thank you i will see you in the next episode